Pongol residents will be invited to try out autonomous shuttles in their neighbourhood starting today. This comes as the first of three routes will begin passenger service within the next three months. Singapore aims to deploy up to 150 autonomous vehicles by the end of this year. Charlotte Lim with more. I'm on board one of the driverless shuttles that will welcome residents in a few months' time. Now it can fit up to five passengers, and so far, the ride has been quite smooth. There's also an interactive display which shows commuters how long it will take to reach the next stop, as well as a real-time overview of the shuttle surroundings, including nearby pedestrians and vehicles. This is an experience some from the Pongal community, including grassroots leaders, will be able to get ahead of the public rollout. The first route that will open to all residents spans 10 kilometres and it will bring those in the west closer to amenities on the eastern side. And efforts have been made to ensure safety. Sometimes in Pungal, there's a lot of construction and roadworks, for instance. So a whole uh, lot of work has gone into making sure that the vehicles are ready to navigate through all those different conditions. Transport operator Grab already has eight certified safety operators who have undergone more than 100 hours of training. The instructor will actually give us the simulations of how the car will behave when it comes to uh, jaywalkers errands to motorists and even those uh, little things that balls or even birds that fly across the car. Authorities will gather the community's feedback to further refine operations and improve user experience before rights open to the public.